So I might if I can just start with reflecting on what's been in the uh, exit from the Challenge Cup. What was your take and thoughts on the performance and the result? Um, you know, it was obviously dis well, massively disappointing to lose. Um, you know, it's a massive game, quarterfinals against Wigan, and you know, it was obviously it's a sort of heartbreaking sort of thing going out like that, and especially being 22 nil down at half time, we, you know, left ourselves too much work to do in that second half, and um, yeah, it's, it's disappointing, but um, at the same time, you've got to try and take any positives out of it, and you know, I thought we had a lot of possession in that game. We just unfortunately couldn't turn them into points. Wigan defended. You know they scrambled really well and defended for their lives, and you know that's obviously what I think got them through through the game in the end and gave them the, the convincing win. But um, yeah, no, it hurts. It's disappointing, but got to try and put it to bed now and, and focus on salvaging something out the rest of the season and, and trying to get up there near the top four. What can you take from the result, and what was the reasons, or what can you put your finger on as to why you were so far behind at half time? Um, I think just. Respecting the ball a little bit more, uh, you know, we had, we had probably quite a few handling errors, um, and, and then off the back of that, you know, our, our defence we've got to be able to we've got to be able to keep them out really. Um, you know, there's a couple of little soft tries um, that they got on us, and you know, it comes with our consistency of our defence. It's you know, we've probably been a bit hit and miss throughout the season on our, on our defensive side of things, but. You know, if you, if you take out your handling errors and you're not having to do as much defence then, and you're a bit fresher and and uh, things don't go, you know, won't go as bad for you there. But you know, it, it's disappointing. But you know, it gives us a great opportunity this Friday night against Salford to to put things back straight and and hopefully try and go on a bit of a run now. And you know, we're, we're working hard at training on our defence and making sure we, we fix that up. But um, you know, making sure we, we respect respect the ball as well. With four games to go left in the standard Super yeah. League season, how important is it now that obviously the Challenge Cup has gone yeah. to focus on getting into that Super Eight? Yeah, it's, very, it's like I say, it's very important. Obviously, that's not 100% secure yet. Um, you know, so we need to get the wins in these last four games to make sure we're definitely in that that top eight Super Eights, and then on top of that, to to keep us in touching distance of the top four, so that you know you don't just get into the Super Eights and and just be a third wheel sort of thing. You know, you want to be trying to challenge to get to grand finals and finals and for us to be able to do that we need to start picking up points now and probably go on a bit of a roll Salford is up next in yeah. terms of Salford played them twice once in the cup once in the league yeah. and you've taken one win apiece yeah. what does that tell you or what can you take from those performances and those results um, into this week's game I think obviously you know, it just shows where probably both teams have been at throughout the season um, you know in terms of been a bit hit and miss both of us at times both teams looking awesome some days and then other days having real nightmares um, but you know it's offered a very good team and obviously if they hadn't you know had the six points deducted they'd be right up there you know next to us at the moment in that in that super eight um, you know so it's going to be a big game but you know we've got to be able to go there with the mentality that we need to probably get a revenge on the fact that they beat us here on our home turf in the league and um you know, we, we we know we need to start getting some two getting some points on the board, and you know it's going to be a, it's going to be a massive game, but it's not going to be an easy challenge either. How do you assess the season overall so far? Because it seems to have been a bit of a peculiar one. A couple of the clubs that you would have expected to be higher up languishing at the bottom, yeah. and, and vice versa. Yeah, it's been a it has been a bizarre one, and I suppose you just got to take each week as it comes. But yeah, like you say, there's been a few clubs that you wouldn't expect at that bottom end, um, and, and you know a few teams that were. At the back end, bottom end last season, are, are right up there this year, and yeah, it's been a funny season, but it's been real tight as well. You know, you get a couple of wins and you're right up at the top of the table, and literally a couple of losses, and it completely gets flipped. So it just proves that every week you've got to be at your best, and you know, you, there's, there's no easy games anymore in, in Super League. That, you know, people would have said in the past that there'd be the easy two points or four points here or there when looking at the ta looking at fixtures, but that. That doesn't happen anymore, and um, you know you, you've got to be at your best and, and give it your all every week. Otherwise, you don't get the points. 